Hi, I'm Jose. Today, I'm gonna show you what a jaw crusher is. Before we get to know it, let's figure out what the crushing process is first. Well, in order to make use of the rocks or ores obtained through the pouring or explosion in the mining and the construction sectors, the materials used to crush to reduce them to a smaller size. We call this process set reduction or crushing. And there are four aims of set reduction. One, acquiring the size or surface area required for the use of the ore or material. Two, allowing convenience of transportation and storage. Three, separating the different minerals contained within the ore and to release them from one another. Four, acquiring the size or surface area required for the enrichment stage. In general, crushing is carried out in three stages. One, two, three. Depending on the desired size of the material. The first stage of the crushing process, also called the primary crushing. In this stage, the size of the feed material ranging between 800 and 1500 mm will be reduced to between 150 and 300 mm. The second stage of the crushing process, also called the secondary crushing. At the second stage of crushing, the feed size would be smaller, as around 150 to 300 mm. Approximately the size of the all rock or all from the primary crushing process. Finally, they will be reduced to between 50 and 80 mm. The third stage of the crushing process, also called the tertiary crushing. At the third stage of crushing, the size of the rock ore, which is around 50 to 80 mm from the secondary crushing process, will be reduced to between 5 and 12 mm. Now, we are clear about the crushing process. Then we call the machine that performs this crushing process a crushing machine or a crusher. And the jaw crusher is exactly one kind of these crushers on market. So let's be back to our subject. What is a jaw crusher? This is a type of crusher that is widely used in the primary and secondary crushing processes. It is usually preferred for the crushing of large blocks of hard and abrasive materials. How do jaw crushers work? Or what is the working principle of jaw crushers? All jaw crushers feature two jaws, one of which is fixed, while the other moves. The working principle of jaw crushers is based on the reciprocating movement of the movable jaw that compresses and crushes the rock or ore between itself and the fixed jaw as the material enters the zone between the jaws. The moving jaw moves back and forward against the fixed jaw and the material fed from the top of the machine is compressed between the two, breaking it to smaller pieces as the moving jaw moves away from the fixed jaw. The crushed material is discharged from the crush at the bottom, with the size of the ejected material determined by the gap between the jaws. These are about the working principle and what a jaw crusher is. If you find it useful and interesting, please leave a comment and tell us what you think. Thank you for your watching. Well, in next video, I would like to talk about what the main components of a jaw crusher are.